Hey Church, Pastor Garrett here. The Council wanted to give you uh, an important update on the conversation that we've been having as a church body about the word evangelical and keeping it or removing it from our church name. Our church began in the 1860s when an evangelist named James Crossman came from Pennsylvania and shared the good news of Jesus in Corvallis. Seventy people gave their lives to Christ and our church was born. For the entirety of that 160 year history, the people of our church have been committed to sharing the good news of Jesus and living the way of Jesus in the community. We believe that the good news of Jesus is good news for everyone and that it has the power to transform the lives of anyone who responds to God's invitation to freedom and salvation. While CEC has been a part of multiple church denominations throughout its long history, the word evangelical has been in our name because it identified us as a people who desire to share the good news of Christ found in scripture with everyone that we interact with. This is what it has meant to be an evangelical for most of the past century and a half and is in a part of our vision and values as a church. We are Christ-centered, gospel-oriented, and biblically grounded. However, in the last 20 to 30 years in American culture, the word evangelical has come to mean different things to different people. In fact, in our current political and social climate, the word evangelical is often used to describe people with a certain political viewpoint or ideology. And this can become an obstacle to ministry, to sharing the good news of Jesus with people when they make assumptions about who we are based on our name. The word's been misused to label people and to push people away from Jesus rather than drawing them to the promise of the good news and the transforming power of scripture. As a leadership team of CEC, we're responsible for the vision and values of our church and how we live out the truth of scripture and the purpose for our church to love God, love people and serve both. We have wrestled for the last few years around if having the word evangelical in our name is an unnecessary barrier to reaching people with the good news of Jesus found in scripture. After gathering input from you, the congregation, and many prayer-filled conversations as a council, we have decided unanimously to remove the word evangelical from our name and pursue a new name. This was not an easy decision, but one that was made with humility and seriousness we are confident that God is at work in our church and we are excited about opportunities to reach people for Jesus in our community. We know for some of you, this decision causes a sense of grief and loss because of your connections and history with the word evangelical, what it has represented in the past or what it represents today. Our connection to communities, people, history, and relationships are often linked for us by names. And so a name change like this can be hard. It is normal to feel a sense of loss around the name of a church, particularly perhaps with a word like evangelical that has had power in the past in shaping the faith of many in our church and around the world. We'd invite you to engage those feelings of loss and grief, process them in prayer with our pastors or leaders or with Christ-minded friends. Some of you may be wondering if this means that we are changing our statement of faith, our beliefs, our vision and values, or maybe we're even changing the denomination that we're a part of, which is called the Evangelical Church. The answer to all these questions is no, we are not. We're not changing our denomination. We are not changing our statement of faith, our beliefs, or our vision and values. As a local church, we have the freedom to decide what name we use, and many churches in our denomination are no longer using the name Evangelical in their church name. Some of you may be wondering then what our new name will be. The short answer is we don't know yet. We are excited to dream together as a congregation and gather more input. Many names have been suggested and you will be hearing more from our council about the name selection process as we get closer to the summer month. Even though this has been a difficult decision, we are thrilled to continue searching for a new name that reflects who we already are as a church and how we can have more opportunities to reach people for Jesus. We don't believe that a name change will be a silver bullet that will make it automatically easier to reach people for Jesus or grow our church, 
but we do believe that a new name will help us have more opportunities to share the good news of Jesus with the people in our neighborhoods, schools, workplaces, and community that God has already called us to. If you have any questions, ideas, or concerns that you would like to share, please don't hesitate to reach out to one of the pastors or someone on our leadership council. There's also an FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions, section on our name change on our website, evch.org, that tries to answer some commonly asked questions that you might have. It is our hope as we move forward as a church together that we can continue to live out our vision to love God, love people, and serve both. We will continue to be Christ-centered, biblically grounded, and gospel-oriented. May God continue to lead all of us as we faithfully follow him in spreading the good news of Jesus to the world that he loves and he died for.